executives overseeing the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant want to restart reactors at another plant they own. Sociopath. The TEPCO officials want permission to resume operations at the reactors in Kashiwazaki, Niigata Prefecture, but they face stiff opposition. All but two reactors in Japan remain offline. Following the 2011 accident at the Fukushima plant, reactors meet new safety standards that go into effect this month before they can go back into operation. With things like serial killers, rapists, and other types of criminals. Niigata Governor Hirohiko Izumida is opposed to the plan by the Tokyo Electric Power Company. He says there can be no discussion about uh, restarting the plan until the Fukushima accident is thoroughly investigated. TEPCO's board of directors decided to apply for government screening of the Kashiwazaki plant as soon as the new guidelines take effect. In fact, during your morning commute to work every day, there's a good chance you've run into, even spoken with, a sociopath. We'd like to explain to the residents why we want to make our application to the government as soon as possible. Author of Confessions of a Sociopath. TEPCO raised electricity fees last year to cover the growing cost of fuel for its thermal power plants, but it continues to struggle with a huge deficit. TEPCO posted more than $6.8 billion in losses for the year through March. The firm must return to the black by March next year in order to receive taxpayer money and bank loans to rebuild its finances. It says by operating just one reactor, it can cut fuel costs by about $10 million a month. So. Bottom line is they don't care about safety of people. Only money from residents so that they can pay compensation to the residents for killing them. How's that for a fucked up morale system? The utility raised electricity fees last year to cover the growing cost of fuel for its thermal power plants, following the shutdown of nuclear plants across the country. But it continues to struggle with a huge deficit. What the fuck are they thinking? Active faults all over the island of Japan and adding MOX fuel to these reactors, too. They really, really, really have a death wish for this planet. WTF. It goes on to read, the Niigata Governor Hirohiko Izumida has repeatedly said there can be no discussion about restarting Kashiwazaki until the 2011 accident at Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant is fully investigated. TEPCO has idled all of its 17 reactors due to regular inspections. Accident cover-up scandals or other reasons. TEPCO is hoping to return to the black by restarting a huge nuclear plant in central Japan. Do you want to first just define the term sociopath and, and how you came to realize that this described you? The utility logged about $6.8 billion in losses for the year through March, its third consecutive year in the red. That's despite hiking electricity rates last year. All its nuclear reactors are offline in the aftermath of the Fukushima Daiichi accident in 2011. Well, no shit, that's because they are dangerous fucking death machines. I'm totally serious. Tepcow says the key to its turnaround plan is the phased restart of four of seven reactors at the Kashiwazaki Karawa plant. Sociopaths tend to be charming, they tend to be fearless, they tend to be very confident, they're charismatic, uh, they tend to ignore social norms, they have a failure to conform to social norms so they can be very independent thinking, which can make them very successful in business. And these are the sorts of traits that I, I acknowledged about myself and knew about myself uh, throughout my life. And then the, probably though the more dominant and perhaps negative traits are they don't really have the same sense of empathy that other people do and they don't really have a conscience to the extent that we think of a conscience as being feelings of guilt after having done something bad. The plant can generate a total of more than 820 megawatts in power, the largest in the world. TEPCO says restarting just one reactor would save about 10 million dollars a month on oil and gas costs. The utility stresses it has received public funds and bank loans on condition that it aims at fiscal turnaround by next March. Say no to nuclear power unless you enjoy an ugly death of this planet. 
Officials from around 120 countries say they must do more to protect nuclear facilities from terrorist attacks. They've agreed to adopt security guidelines drawn up by the International Atomic Energy Agency. The IAEA hosted a meeting in Vienna, Austria. It's the first such event to focus on nuclear security. If a dirty bomb is detonated in a major city or sabotage occurs at a nuclear facility, the consequences could be devastating. No shit. The threat of nuclear terrorism is real. The delegates adopted a declaration pledging to make use of the IAEA's nuclear security guidelines. They also agreed to minimize the use of highly enriched uranium. The material can be used to make nuclear weapons. Authorities say they're also concerned about terrorists getting hold of radioactive materials in hospitals and factories. Well, you know where they got those nuclear devices from at those hospitals and factories. From the fucking nuclear power industry. Screw you, nuclear energy. You were a few sociopaths basically turn an entire organization into a functioning sociopathic unit. When the fish all die and the legs catch fire, will it be worth it then? And when the cancer rates 90% or high, will it be Now, North Korean diplomats have been holding a series of meetings to try to lay the groundwork for the resumption of the six-party talks. Their next stop is Russia. First Vice Foreign Minister Kim ge will fly to Moscow after passing through Beijing. Kim is scheduled to meet senior officials at the Russian Foreign Ministry. He's expected to ask for their help in resuming the negotiations, which broke down in 2008. Diplomats from the United States, Japan and South Korea say they won't come to the table until authorities in Pyongyang take concrete steps toward denuclearization. Analysts say the North Koreans may be looking to Russia to counter that demand. Foreign ministers from the Association of Southeast Asian Nations are sitting down with their counterparts in Brunei. The talks on regional security are expected to cover a range of issues including North Korea's nuclear program. Ministers from more than two dozen nations and international bodies are taking part in the 20th ASEAN Regional Forum. They represent countries including Japan, the United States, as well as North Korea. Officials from the North have recently suggested they are ready to resume talks with other nations. The six-party talks on the country's nuclear program have been on hold for four and a half years. Ministers from Japan, the US and South Korea have some conditions for resuming talks. They are likely to press North Korea make concrete progress on ending nuclear development. 
But North Korea's foreign minister is expected to argue that the country needs its nuclear program for self-defense against U.S. threats.